So I went online, did a search for veggie plants that rabbits won't eat, and I found a list like this. And this one's called Vegetables Rabbits Love and Avoid in Your Garden. And I'm going to link to it in the description below. I think it's a pretty good list. However, there are some things that I disagree with. So let's go out in the garden and take a look. I'm going to focus on the ones that the rabbits tend to avoid. And the first one on the list is asparagus. However, we found that the rabbits actually do tend to nibble on the asparagus. However, for us, they usually don't do too much damage. Next one on the list is corn. And I have to disagree with that. Look at this. This corn plant chewed off on this leaf. And this leaf is also chewed. And this is not an isolated incident. We move over here and I've got another corn plant. This one also has been chewed over here. I even have some corn that I covered with a cage and it started to grow through the top of the cage. And you can see that that's been chomped off as well. I don't have any garlic, but I have grown it in the past without any issues. I don't have leeks, not sure on that one, but I do have onion like these here and would have to agree they typically don't eat the onion. However, if they do get desperate, they will eat it. These are Egyptian onions that are perennial onions if you don't dig up the bulbs. We use the greens as like scallions and they are one of the first things that come up in the spring and the rabbits will eat those to the ground when there's nothing else for them to eat. Next on the list is over here my potato patch. Definitely very healthy, robust, and no rabbit damage on that whole row of potatoes. Next on the list is rhubarb. Hardy perennial. Definitely not something that the rabbits like or eat. Another one that's safe from rabbits is the tomato plant. So we have a few here of varying sizes and varieties. And all safe and untouched. Another one is squash. This one is going to be a butternut. This one has been untouched. And over there we have an acorn squash. And lastly, we have Z for zucchini. We have a young zucchini plant here. And I actually saw a rabbit lounging in the dirt right there this morning. Didn't touch the plant. I hope that helps you plan and protect your garden. I have another video on some tips and tricks I use to try to keep the critters out of my plants. So I'll link to it here.